The three game festivities are over and we're just about set to get this game underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Penn State's a team and a program that year in, year out's got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Check, check. Under pressure. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That'll make it third and five. Third and five. Ball on their own 30. Caught enough for the first down. He's tackled at the 44. He's a solid blocker, but as he showed right there on third down, he also has soft hands for a big guy. Watch your team. Watch your team. Watch your team. Third two. Slings it to his fullback. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 43. six-yard line. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. complete and he's hit right away. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Booming kick. He takes it in at the 14. He's taken down at the 26. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Nice run, and he's brought down. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. That brings him second and five. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Take over. Runs it left for a decent game. He's into the open field. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Tackle at the 38-yard line. That's good for nine yards. That'll make it Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Go. 
And they make the stop at the 39. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job on first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. He's taken down around the 19-yard line. This is the ninth play of the current drive. They'll bring him down around the 23-yard line. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. From the 23-yard line, second down. 40's Mike, 40's Mike. And down he goes at about the 19-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. Quick pass going back to his running back. And he's taken down at about the nine-yard line. And once again, the coaches decided to go for it on fourth down. Brought down at about the 13. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Three down, three down. Hey, look, we're going to go Mike 15, guys. Mike 15. <laughs> Caught with room to work. Tackle made around the 20-yard line. We played one. Still no score. That'll bring up second and three. We're all tied up and more action coming hopefully here in quarter number two. 15 the mic. I got 15. Black five, black five. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. That's good for the end of two yards. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Quick throw, caught by the fullback. He's tackled at the 23. Number 11 makes the set tackle at the 23-yard line. Fourth down. He really got a hold of that one. Gets to about the 44-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 45. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 
In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's going to try and scramble. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Tackle around the 32-yard line. the 32-yard line. It's first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Inside the 10, and he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. That's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball, and it got him a first down. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They're back in the red zone where they have really struggled lately. And they make the stop at the five. That brings him second and goal. And he makes it out to about the five yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. So here we go. It's third and goal from the four, and this would break the tie. Three down, three down. Key eight, key eight. Mike 40, Mike 40. Get it! Mike Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Slings it. He's taken down around the 19-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. Got it, and brought down immediately. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Four down, four down. Hey, look, we're going to go Mike 15, guys. Mike 15, all right? Red two, blue four. Blue four. Kill, kill. Panther two. Gets it. He's in space. That's a great tackle. The 37-yard line. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Fires it out. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. He's 
hit and taken down. Complete for three yards, and that's good for a first down. Good look there from the quarterback, dumping it off and coming away with a new set of downs. Let's see if the quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. He chucks it downfield. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. So at the end of the half, now this one's scoreless. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses first and foremost did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. A gain of eight and a nice decision by the quarterback to give it up on the option. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Five wide. Go! 648! And he's level at the 37. Throws it in a hurry. He's at midfield. And down he goes around the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, first down. to that quickly. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 20. Back in the red zone again, where their three previous trips resulted in zero points each time. He's got an opening. The five. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. And now that these guys have broken the tie on that touchdown, we'll have to see if their defense can hold on to the lead. And he adds the extra point. A nice six play, 76 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drop. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He sends this one deep. Looks like they're ready for the kick. 
Nebraska is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Scrambling around. A five-yard quarterback scramble. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Four down, four down. Hey, look, we're gonna go here we go, here we go, here we go. Green it. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he is drilled at the 42-yard line. Call the game at 12 yards. First down. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. 15's the mic. 15's the mic. I got 15. Hey, kill, kill, kill. kill. Where? Motion, 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 motion. Hey, motion, motion. And he's tackled right away. Hit on the throw, he caught it. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Watch 15. Watch 15. Mike 15. Right there. He's into the open field. He makes his way to about the 42. Gain of nine yards. First down. Turn right, turn right. Four down, four down. Go nowhere, 22, go nowhere. Mike 15. Mike 15. Red two. Play action. Looking for the corner. Brought down to 39 yard line. From the 39 yard line. Second down. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Tackle made at the 26. From the 26-yard line, first down. First and 10. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. Three down, three down. Fifteen's the mic. Fifteen's the mic. I got fifteen. And he's tackled at the one. Makes the tackle. That's good for a game of eight yards. That brings him second and goal. From the one yard line. Second down. That's going to be a long day. And he can't get away from the pressure. I think the quarterback here, even though he came up with a sack and he's on his back, he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre snap read. You know, a lot of quarterbacks would get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football, but the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table, and that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection. That time, he didn't do that. And he's hit before he could go anywhere. They're going to go for the easy three here. That brings us fourth and goal. Kicks up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receiver. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Second and 13 coming up here. 
Ball on the 22. Nebraska holds a four-point lead. On the ground, inside. He's to the 40. And they finally make the stop at the 47. Stop behind the line. Call a loss, loss of two, two yards, yards on the play. play. That'll, That'll bring, bring up, up second, second and 12. 12. From their own 45 yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling. He's tackled at about the 47 yard line. Third down. down. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 7-3, Nebraska. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Four down, four down. Check three, check Go. three. Wow, a big stop there early in the fourth quarter. And the way this game has been played and how tight it's been, every defensive stop will be huge. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Nebraska is up by four. Oh, excellent punt. And he just got drilled. This has been like a heavyweight bout, Kirk. Both teams just hammering each other defensively. Love to watch two defenses fly around like this and just lay into these offenses, not giving them any chance to put any points up on the board. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Four down, four down. Hey, watch 28. Mike 15. Dead, two. Steel kill. Here's a handoff, left side. Makes it to the 22-yard line. That's good for a game. That makes it second and eight. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Hey, Mike's, Mike, Mike's 15, Mike's 15. Red, blitz. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Well, the defense stood tall there. Boy, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Nebraska is up four. He's at midfield, and he tackles him hard at the 44. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Gets out to around the 28.
Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. It's on the ground. Recovered by the offense. And they make the stop at the 10. From the 10 yard line, it's first down. And he makes it out to about the eight yard line. Two yards there on the option keeper. Second down, eight yards to go. Eight yards out, just over two minutes in the game. Nice run there. So he calls his own number and gets about six yards. Penn State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. He makes the PAT, a six-play, 62-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So our score, 14-3. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Going right, intercepted. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. Oh, and that is one dejected quarterback. That interception's going to seal this game. It's first and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. He's at the 40. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Just under two minutes in the game. Tackle around the 20-yard line. From the 20 yard line. First down. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. Runs right for a nice game. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 14-3.
Nebraska. As we take a look at the highlights, Kurt, how would you summarize the action of this one? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Penn State had a few missed opportunities in this game. I think if they could have capitalized on a few of them, it would have been a lot closer, and they might even have won this game. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.